That's how the temperatures ranged from uh, last year just being about 10 degrees colder than where we're standing now for the month of November. But I thought we'd look at some snowfall season uh, totals. So, so far in Bismarck, we've seen nine inches of snow last year to date. Uh, we've seen 21 inches normal. We're definitely on par with that. And same thing with Minot. So as we keep looking upward and onward, we're now looking at still a lack of precip. Of course, most of those numbers for this year were elevated because of what we saw back in October. And so what we see now once we kind of just lean forward into our Monday uh, of next week is a little bit of precip that could be on the map, but that is it. In fact, when we look at the precip chances, nothing out of the ordinary. You could basically call it um, near normal. I mean, maybe the Northwest favored to be slightly above normal precip, but um, outside of that, we're kind of in this phase where we're not seeing a whole lot. And temperature wise too, the whole country is going to be favored to be warm between now and the next six to 10 days. Uh, the only place that will not be is where they saw the big heat over the summer, um, but that would be the Four Corners region. Now we are warmer today. We're going to keep that snow melting in Williston because of our warm front, which is now along I-29. It was uh, along the Highway 83 area this morning, and so we're just going to continue to filter in more of that milder air and kicking out that cold air that's kind of uh, stuck in International Falls to Minneapolis at the moment. Uh, we can see that west wind has filtered in. They are really starting to pick up at the moment. And so from Dickinson, the garrison to Minot, we're stuck right around 30 mile per hour wind gusts. So whether you're still going home from the holiday weekend, you're going back home for your commute or even kids coming off the bus stop, uh, the rest of the day will be in the 40s, at least for the daylight hours. It's once we hit five, six o'clock. Well, now we're stuck within those 30s and we're still seeing that clear sky. So we're warm today, certainly about 10 degrees warmer than even yesterday. So that makes a difference in addition to all of that blue sky. Uh, we keep going to the teens and 20s tonight we start to drop that wind as soon as we go into tomorrow I do think tomorrow is going to be better uh, despite it maybe two to three de degrees cooler we're still in those 40s but we're keeping it sunny and we drop those winds so I think that's the best part so as far as the rest of today goes our peak wind will be right between now to four o'clock this afternoon it will stay out of the west as that warmer air still filters in but now we're hitting six o'clock those gusts are now about 24 miles per hour and they keep going down overnight to about 15 come tomorrow so our wind chill for forecast does make it feel like it is in the 30s despite our actual temperatures in the 40s this afternoon. We go into the evening hours to the teens we go and then it kind of stays that way as we trickle into our day tomorrow. So Krista overall our seven day forecast stays on that quiet side. The only nuisance again is a little bit of snow from a cold front that will come through potentially on Monday. That's a long time to go through without any really major weather events. Yeah, it's been a while. I think we'll, we're still kind of relieved from last year, so I think that's a plus. <laughs> yeah, I don't think anyone's complaining.